I've been a fan of the Munsters since I was watching television. So for me, this was the opportunity to do a show about a family, but they also happen to be monsters. So that was one of the things that I thought was so important to this reimagining is to be able to see the monsters in a way where they are actually functioning as monsters. Because in the original, they were a family that looked like monsters, but they didn't behave like monsters. And for us, they look less like monsters, but they behave more like monsters. There's the same cast of characters. There's Herman. Uh, the patriarch, who's Frankenstein, essentially. There's Lily, who is um, a vampire. Uh, her father, Grandpa, who is basically Count Dracula, or we refer to him as D. And uh, little Eddie Munster, who is somewhat of a werewolf. And, uh, and Marilyn, who is the only misfortunate normal in the family. For Grandpa, we really wanted to take the, the essence of what they did with the original, which was they based their grandpa on Bella Lugosi and Todd Browning's Dracula. What we kind of did with our version is base our Dracula on Francis Ford Coppola's Bram Stoker's Dracula. Lily is the daughter of, uh, of Dracula, and, um, and she has a very special relationship with her father. They both share the same uh, bloodlust. The difference is that Lily is very conscious of being a mother and doesn't want to kind of freak out her kids or her child and, uh, and other members of the neighborhood, while Grandpa's kind of really desiring to recapture the, the way things used to be. Um, so so she's, you know, she's very much in love with Herman, but in a way she's kind of, you know, she's, she's married someone, I don't want to say beneath her, but kind of um, well, beneath her applies because he was actually six foot in the okay. ground beneath, so that is an appropriate. And so, and Grandpa's constantly, you know, reassembling uh, Herman to keep him alive. The sweet thing about Herman is he is a character who is in a constant state of decay, married to a woman who doesn't age. So that has a certain amount of insecurities that go with that territory. So what we have in their relationship that's special is him essentially being built for her and he is in service of her so that that metaphor of the father-in-law who creates a man is a, a, for his daughter we really carry through literally and, and grandpa sewn pieces of dead flesh together to create the perfect man for his daughter. That's the reason that we titled the show Mockingbird Lane. It's not necessarily a remake of the Munsters. It's a show that has been inspired by the Munsters.